Hi everyone, welcome to the PEB channel. I'm Joel Pettit and today I want to talk to you about the critical importance of retrieving your PEB records after you receive your notification letter for the Torres v. Del Toro case from the Navy's Class Action Review Board or the CARB. So let's just jump right into it and talk about the issue at hand. The issue is this. Everyone needs the best possible data you can when making decisions. The problem is, is that we generally make these decisions based on anecdotal data. Now, what's anecdotal data? Anecdotal data is just evidence in the form of stories that we tell about what happened to us or someone else. We all fall prey to this. Why? Because it's simpler than saying, well, I took data and I analyzed it in Excel or R or some other platform and came up with these conclusions. That would be a pretty boring story, and most of us don't want to talk to people like that. So we give anecdotal data all the time. But when it comes to making an election for a Torres v. Del Toro case, you don't want to fall prey to this. In order not to fall prey to this, you have to have quality data. How do you get that? You get your PEB records. So then you have to ask yourself two questions. One, am I entitled to these records? And two, if I am, how do I get them? Well, let's answer the first one, and that's pretty simple. It comes from SecNav Instruction 1850.4 Echo. That's 4E. That's where you'll find paragraph 3208, and that's entitled Members Access to Medical Board Reports and Counseling. In that paragraph, it describes how sailors and Marines are entitled to the records of the MEB, the PEB, things of that nature. And also, of course, access to attorneys. So now that you know your rights, meaning you are entitled to these records, you want to know, how do I go about getting them? A Navy CARB has to provide you with a PEB liaison officer, a PEBLO, just like when you went through the IDES process the first time. This person is located at the Washington Navy Yard within the CARB. Now below in the description section of this video, I have the Navy CARB's web address that has the Peblo's uh, mailing information, um, their email, and also their phone number. I've also included those uh, items below as well, so you don't have to go to the website. However, if you want to check up on this information, which please, I'm happy for you to do so, just hit that link and it takes you right to their website. And the reason I did this, because people would say, why did you do this? The contact information is in the uh, Torres notification letter. It's not, meaning not the phone number. <laughs> so I included the phone number as well. Now, moving on. Why is this so important? Because under that paragraph that I stated before, paragraph 3208, you are entitled to these records. Well, generally, again, as you remember through the IDES, the Peblo would provide these records to you. That's not the case here. And I would argue as a matter of fairness, that's a big no-no because I don't expect the CARB to mail every single person using DOD safe their PEB records. That seems a little laborious, but to not even give you the resource to request those records, I think is a bit unfair. Just sim simply because when I've done it for clients, it's not a big deal, but the fact they don't even tell people who aren't attorneys how to get their records I find that a little bit disingenuous. So that's why I'm gonna put a stop to that. Now, how do you do it? You must use the form DD2870. Again, Department of Defense form DD2870. And again, in the description, I have a link to it. It's a very simple document, not hard to fill out. It'll probably take you five to 10 minutes, but there is a trick to it it allows you to sign electronically. Don't do this. Do not do this. Not because it's illegal or, you know, it's unethical. No. The Navy requires sailors and Marines to ink sign these documents. So how do you re request your records? You simply download this form from the link that I provided, fill it out either by hand or electronically, and that means you would then print it, sign it in ink, then you can take a picture and then print that picture to PDF and then email it to the, the CARB. Or you can use, and this is not an endorsement, but 
I tell my clients, hey, just you get the free Adobe Scan app because when you take a picture, it automatically converts it to a PDF that you can then uh, send anywhere. So that just cuts out a, a, a step and it's easy. But anyway, do whatever you're comfortable with. But the one thing you can't be comfortable with um, is signing electronically and having the CARB accept that uh, form and then send you your PEB records. That will not work. So please, again, I'll just recap. Download the DD2870, fill it out, print it out, sign in ink, take a picture either with your camera or the Adobe Scan app, and then send that to the CARB Peblo's email address or fax it to them or <laughs> mail it to the CARB and that way they will have to send you your records from your previous PEB uh, proceedings as per SECNAV instruction 1850.4 ECHO because that is the governing regulation for the Torres v. Del Toro cases. So I hope this video has helped. <laughs> if you're a Marine or sailor struggling with these issues and you've received a Torres notice and you're not sure what uh, what to do, please go to my website, joelpettitlaw.com, shoot me an email, give me a call. I'd love to speak to you about your potential case. And if you found this video helpful, please click here to watch more. Thanks for watching everybody and have a great day.